Okay, first of all, sorry for the noise. I will record a better video later. But this is just to get, in, get started. All you need is these two files. Instamap bundle and Instamap. In Krita, go to manage sources, import bundle. And here it is. Patterns, brush, brush presets and brushes. Then, open the instant. Um, you can make the canvas bigger by going to the corner and clicking this arrow. You can also do the same on the bottom side. But you don't have to. And for this example, I will not. Um, you don't need this. I am at these. So. Um, first of all, let me hide the borders. Um, the scale, the map title, and the red overlays, and the compass. And I will delete the paint layer. This will not remove the layer, just make it blank. And same for the lint mess. Um, if you go to the brush presets, search map. Here are the included brushes. So pick the lint mess one. Make it white. You can make it green or yellow, whatever. But for this example, white. white. You can just click to make a random and a couple click a couple times with a big brush, or I can make it. Small, smallish, like this, and draw something and adjust it so there is not that much. I can hit E or click this icon to make it an eraser and carve it. You can also take another other brush to clean it a little. Um, with the oh yeah, uh, with the lens mask you can go to the paint layer and take some mountains. You can make them smaller. Make some heels. Make them smaller. Now that I have um, elevation, I could go back, back to the land mass. Take another brush and make some rivers carving the land mass in the eraser mode. 
So rivers usually go from high places to low places. You can use the brush to make it thinner on the, the start. Sometimes I make them a couple times so I can get them right in some points. You could have some islands, another river. There is a most interesting one. Sometimes, sometimes rivers make deltas. And now that I have body waters, I can start making vegetation. These trees are a little too big, and I am in the wet mess, so I should go to the paint. Again, sorry for the noise. trees in the colder regions. And grass. It's made of too big. So we can change some other lid. Details. You can use the dotted line to make roads. Oh, these are. This depends on color, so I take the black one. Let's say I'm happy with this map, so I can start adding um, decorations. These are random. If you don't like them, you can Ctrl C and click again. Or you can use the marking tool and move them to some other place. That's all. That's all I have. Five, six decorations. Um, now that my map is pretty, I can take the borders, use the move tool. So these are one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I want to take corner two. And move it here and take corner four and move it here. You can also take the marquee tool, go to corner one, select this arm, transform and stretch and do the same to color tree um, you can also move the scale the title you can put it, put it, put it down here or you can put up here you decide. I like to have it centralized. So 
Yeah, but the map doesn't help. So I will put it here so I don't block any land. Um, make the text visible. Move it here. Uh, you can use the text tool to change its name. Um, save and close. You can center it. You can also uh, move the scale. I like to have it aligned with the grid. to duplicate and duplicate again and put it somewhere like maybe here at the corner there is also a couple of great extra decorations with cool um, sun a wheel Or, or, or you can use nothing. I will use this pool. And move it a little bit higher here. <coughs> then these lines here are on a different layer. So you can duplicate and move. I like to place it somewhere like this. Yeah, where it meets the other lines. I could also make them. That's my map. Uh, you can export uh, as JPEG.
Oh, you can also activate this layer sepia to make it like this. And if you want to, you can also color it or make more text, cities, continents, oceans. But that is the basic to get it working. All you need is the instamap file and the instamap bundle. Thanks for watching.